Only a busy time for the North Dakota Native T uh, Tourism Alliance, and we have the organizer's vice president with us here this morning, Les Thomas. Good Thank morning, you so good much. Morning. Good morning, and thanks yes. for getting up bright and early with us today to tell us what's happening. Now, you've been busy. You've been traveling around a lot here. You've been a couple months here. The, you went to the convention in Fargo, and you went to the American Roundup in Wyoming, yes. spreading the word. We have. Uh, with, uh, I want to thank you for allowing me to uh, address the big picture of mm -hmm. tourism in North Dakota. Our partnership with North Dakota Tourism, with our North Dakota Native Tourism Alliance, has been a huge economic factor here in North Dakota. According to uh, the, the uh, report here that mm -hmm. I brought along for the 2023, uh, the impact on the economy here in North Dakota has been $3.55 billion, that's with a B, here in the state of North Dakota. And the state legislators, you know, they appropriate uh, funding to the Commerce Department. Mm -hmm. and they should actually double that if they look at the big picture because the surrounding states, uh, they have budgets that are way above ours, double if not more. So they need to take a serious look at that and see mm -hmm. what tourism has brought to the state of North Dakota. And uh, the partnership between North Dakota Native Tourism and with uh, North Dakota uh, Tourism has been huge, mm -hmm. huge impact. But uh, Governor Burgum had uh, requested 50 million from the state legislators for a destination development tourism grant. They only appropriated 25 million. There was $151 million of requests from 80, over 81 uh, entities yep. and only 14 got funded. And uh, we put a comprehensive plan together for uh, our Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa, mm -hmm. took the lead and for our whole Rolette County. And we were able to secure 1.5 million for that for four projects. Out of all those requests, that's very impressive and yep. significant. And you could actually go for five million and some of the ones uh, got threes, sure. whatever, but at least we were secured uh, 1.5 million. Mm -hmm. And the four projects for us uh, with uh, tribal planning, Anita Blue and uh, her staff and uh, Shirley Swanson mm -hmm. and myself, we put a team together with full support of the tribal council. Yep. And uh, we put uh, four projects, uh, a community roundhouse, which is underway, the bids are already being mm -hmm. put out. Uh, new Powa Arbor on the tribal level. Mm -hmm. And then for all of Rolette County, for the Veterans Park in Dunseeth. And then the one that I'm spearheading with the Indigenous Committee at the Peace Garden, I was the first Indigenous person on that board yes. in 90 years. Uh, we appropriated money for that. Uh, and so we're going to phase one will be a powwow arbor and having the first international peace powwow in the world. And I stress peace. Yes. You know, what the world's doing nowadays. And so. So exciting. It, it is. It is. And our, our tribal council is doing such an excellent job mm -hmm. of developing amenities, uh, such as our $10 million indoor water park, our mm -hmm. trampoline park, uh, and uh, the new equestrian building, and bringing in events such as the rodeos, the uh, horse racing, uh, uh, events that uh, draw in tourism. Because... Uh, when you look at tourism, how uh, that affects your economy and jobs. Absolutely. You know, on the local level and the surrounding communities, we work in partnership with the Turtle Mountain area. So what we're doing is developing amenities, the whole Turtle Mountain area, for, to become family friendly, year-round point of destinations. This is so that's, wonderful. Yes. This is, and you guys are doing so so much good work and just bring, reasons for people to come visit North Dakota. Yes. And visit our reservations and just. Enjoy. The state of North Dakota goes, uh, they send Fred Walker out uh, to Australia, New Zealand, mm -hmm. Italy, France, Germany, England, the Scandinavian countries to market North Dakota. So that's what the state legislators, hopefully they can uh, see the big picture and appropriate more money. Like I said, yeah. the other states surrounding us are getting more tourism because their budgets are bigger. Well, we're we bigger. could promote North Dakota on a, a, a larger scale if we had the the yeah. monies. We're very if, excited. If, if more more information for us, go mm -hmm. to uh, peacegarden.com, okay. tmchippewa.com, we'll link or ndnta.com. And we those. will link those to our website at kxnet.com. Yes. And uh, thank you so much. We're excited to see what happens moving forward. Every Les. tribe has its own story to tell, and that's why every tribe has been doing their building amenities. And one of the main things we're doing, we're developing regional tours. Mm -hmm. You know, with uh, tribes in like uh, MHA is with uh, Watford Very City, good. Medora coming up, okay. and ours is with Jamestown, that Bison World project, yep. if that goes through. Lots happening. Uh, lots so happening. Much. So Thank you so much.